Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Match Day Live Series. It is the second leg of the Europa League tie between Slavia Prague and Arsenal. If you remember from the first leg, it did end 1-1. Uh, but Arsenal, they need to obviously get the job done today if we're going to have any chance of European football next season. I can't see us qualifying for Europe in the Premier League if I'm totally honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this game. Let's try and get ourselves an away goal at the very least because, of course, Slavia Prague do have the away goal advantage going into this second leg. Uh, so obviously, the sooner we get that goal written out, the better. And we're on the attack early on here as Thomas Partey lays that one backwards towards Martinelli. We've started Martinelli on the left side of Arsenal's midfield today. And we have also started with Granit Xhaka as the left back. He did start as a left back at the weekend against Sheffield United. So we'll see how he gets on tonight for us on FIFA 21. Aubameyang starts on the bench for Arsenal, at least for us on FIFA. Um, we've started, we've gone with actually Lacazette because Lacazette's been playing really well for Arsenal. Played really well at the weekend against Sheffield United. So I thought he was um, worthy of a start for us as the main striker. Aubameyang can come on, of course, in the second half if he's needed to do so. If not, then we can just keep him out and give him a little bit of a rest because we do have some important games, of course, coming up in the Premier League, especially if we do go out here. We need to push as high as possible in the league because right now things are not looking great for Arsenal. And with Arsenal conceding that away goal against Slavia Prague, and we've really got to up our game in this match today. Uh, we're into the second half and as you can see, no goals yet to speak of. Bukayo Saka plays that one across the middle. It was aimed towards Odegaard. Odegaard couldn't get there, the defender did. But unfortunately for the defender, he could only hit it into the back of his own goal. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, the goalkeeper would have had that as well if it wasn't for the interception of the defender. And there he is, Kudela. He is the one who scores the first goal, unfortunately, in his own goal. Then breaking the deadlock and giving Arsenal, obviously, the one goal lead in this game. And that writes out the away goal that Slavia Prague got in that first leg. As Lacazette goes all the way through and he just put a little bit too much on that. And drags that one a little bit too far of the goal then. A good chance there for Arsenal to claim their second away goal of the match. Uh, but it wasn't to be. Arsenal still have the advantage though, two goals to one in the two-legged tie and we need to get another and obviously if we do get another goal that will give us a two-goal um, away goal advantage I should say and Slavia Prague play this one onto this near side, cross comes in, there is the header and things are all level yet again, 20 minutes remaining and Slavia Prague has once again scored a late goal to tie things up and now we are all equal across both ties and that means of course it will head into extra time I believe and then if it's still level after the extra time period it will head to a penalty shootout uh, but good header there uh, the defender was who was it was it Rob Holding I'm not sure if that was Rob Holding or whether Granit Xhaka came across there um, to defend there but it was a good attacking header found the back of the net can Arsenal win this one late on not enough high time that one there from Aubameyang trying to loop it over the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper reads it into the final minute. It is still 1-1. It looks like we are going to be heading to extra time, guys. 2-2 on aggregate. 1-1 on the night. The same result from that first leg. Uh, maybe one last attack here for Arsenal. Here is Smith Rose. Come on for Arsenal. Aubameyang come on. And I think Nicolas Pepe was also the third player which have come on for Arsenal in the late stages of that first half. So... The three players will have a little bit more fresher legs going into the extra time period. But as you can see right now, it is Slavia Prague on the attack, trying to get themselves in front for the first time in this tie. Playing very, very patiently, just keeping possession. Well played there for Arsenal, though, winning the ball back. And the referee says free kick. Not sure what the free kick was given for. It was a very clean um, interception there, winning the ball back. And look, as, look what it's led to. It's led to Slavia Prague going in front. Two goals to one and on the night. Three goals to two on aggregate. And now Arsenal really do need an away goal. Uh, but of course, if we do get that goal, um, it is going to be the away goal advantage that gets us through to the next stage of the Europa League. Well, great header there. 
again in front of two players of Bomwang being one of those and now Arsenal need to score otherwise we are out of the Europa League and it will be Slavia Prague who go through at least on FIFA 21 so don't worry too much guys we've still got the real life game to worry about more important than this but here's Aubameyang and a great finish there from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang 108 minutes on the clock it is now 2-2 on the night and 3-3 on aggregate but Arsenal of course have two goals um, which give us the away goal advantage more than the one, one away goal advantage which um, Slavia Prague took into the second leg so all we need to do now is not concede and then obviously we will be heading through to the next round of this competition we've got five minutes remaining and Arsenal just giving the ball away there Smith Rowe it was and it is going to be a late free kick here to Slavia Prague also have conceded five fouls in this game none for Slavia Prague and that one has fallen kindly to the Slavia Prague player and that gives them the three two advantage on the night four two oh, sorry four three over the two legs and with little time remaining is that going to be game over for Arsenal a little bit of luck fell their way here Look at the, the defenders just walking away from it. And it's wide open and a top finish into that top corner. Bernd Leno unable to get across to keep that one out. But there he is, Jakub Romada. However you pronounce his name, he is there with possibly the winning goal for Slavia Prague. Maybe one last chance here for Arsenal. If we score in these final few seconds, it will be Arsenal go through a little bit too much on that. Oh, Saka pulls it back, but the defender got in there ahead of Odegaard. And I think, guys, that is it. The final whistle blows. Slavia Prague win on the night. They win over the two legs as well. Arsenal head out, but hopefully we do not see a repeat of this this evening. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.